So another example uh, in which case uh, the axis is inclined to HP, VP as well as uh, profile plane. So let's see the exercise. Uh, it is a cylinder, 40 millimeter diameter and a 50 millimeter axis is resting on one point of a base circle on VP. While its axis makes 45 degree with the VP and front view of the axis 35 degree with the HP. Draw the projections. So this, in this case, a cylinder is uh, the object that we have to consider. And the diameter of the cylinder is 40 millimeter. And the axis, the length of the axis is 50 millimeter. And uh, it is resting on VP. It is not, not resting on HP. It is resting on VP with the one point of the base. So, uh, and uh, its axis is making an angle of 45 degree with the VP. And uh, the front view of the axis is 35 degree with the HP. So that is the condition. Uh, first, uh, it is uh, resting on VP with a 45 degree inclination. Uh, the axis making an angle of 45 degree with the VP. And the second condition is uh, the front view of the axis is making 35 degree with the HP. Draw the projections. Uh, not down the question and then we will continue. One thing that you should remember is that uh, in this case, the front view of the axis is making 35 degree with the HP, not the uh, axis is making 35 degree. When the axis is making 35 degree, that is uh, a bit complicated, but complicated in the sense we have to find out uh, the locus of uh, the second end point of the axis, etc., etc. That uh, That sort of problem we will encounter later. So this time what we are we what we uh, what is given is that uh, the front view of the axis is making an angle of 35 degree with the hp so let's see how or let's visualize how it uh, will look like so so this is the final figure that we require see this one this one is the final figure that uh, we will require final uh, see. the final front view this is the final front view that we will require and uh, that top view final top view will be something like this see almost a sim similar figure but uh, the orientation is different and uh, if we closely look one end one end of uh, or one point of the base circle is resting on the VP, so that is it is touching the XY line in the top view. In the top view, it is touching. In the front view, it is not touching. The front view, see, in the front view, it need not touch since it is resting on uh, the VP, not on HP. Uh, in the front view, it need not touch the XY line, but in the top view, it has to touch the XY line. Now, uh, the display style, okay. So if you see the hidden line, so this edge, this uh, this ellipse, there are two ellipses there. One is this ellipse and the second one is this ellipse. And out of this ellipse, this half portion of the ellipse is invisible, hidden. So that is the only condition. That is the only part that will be hidden in the case of a, uh, a cylinder. Uh, half of uh, the edge, I mean, uh, half of the base edge. Not uh, actually, it cannot be considered as a edge. It is the base curve actually. The base is a circle, and uh, half of that circle will be invisible to us. <coughs> I'm sorry. So now let's see how the first views will look like. In the first to position in the initial position what we need is uh, we are placing it in such a way that in the top view it is a circle since it is it should rest on uh, vp on one of its base sorry uh, in the front view it is a circle not in the top view in the front view it is a circle since it is resting on vp uh, we first uh, place it such a way that its base is uh, in the edge vp so in the top view, what uh, we will see is uh, 
in the top view it will be a rectangle a rectangle with the uh, just a rectangle with one of its base at just uh, one of its base at just uh, one of its edges just uh, touching the x y line so why it is uh, touching the x y line in the top view since it is resting on vp in the front view it is just a circle a circle of radius uh, uh, sorry diameter 40 millimeter and in the top view it is a rectangle a rectangle of width 40 millimeter and height uh, 6 to 50 millimeter since the height of the, uh, the cylinder is 50 millimeter so it is 50 millimeter this length is 50 millimeter and this width is uh, 40 millimeter 40 millimeter diameter now what you have to do is uh, you have to redraw this particular top view in the next view what you have to do is you have to uh, redraw this particular top view that is this rectangle in such a way that uh, its uh, axis is making an angle of 45 degree with the vp in the top view uh, this picture is uh, redrawn since it is resting on vp uh, first inclination that we will consider is the inclination with the vp so this particular rectangle is redrawn here then the corresponding front view is drawn This will be the corresponding front view with the two ellipses. With the two ellipses, it is the uh, corresponding front view. See, with the, uh, if, if you consider the hidden lines, this will be like this. This part is hidden line. This part is this half circle is hidden. From this uh, line to this line, this half circle is hidden. And uh, this part is fully visible also. And uh, uh, in the top view, the top view we have already seen. Then this front view is then repeated. Or the front view of the axis is making an angle of 35 degree with the xy line. So uh, with the HP. So the front view of the axis is this this line, this uh, dotted line. Actually, it is not dotted. It is uh, the chain line. This chain line is the front view of the axis. This this chain line it is the front view of the axis and uh, this particular axis is made at 40 35 degree with the xy line so here that uh, then this picture is redrawn here this picture is rightly reproduced here and then the corresponding top view is also drawn see in the third top view see the difference uh, in the third top view also there are two ellipses and how to draw this uh, ellipses that is a uh, tricky question because uh, uh, without uh, considering multiple points on the circumference of the circle we cannot draw it and uh, how many circles uh, how many points are needed uh, uh, 8 is enough uh, but 12 will give you if you consider 12 uh, geometrically symmetrical points on this um, as in uh, the circular face then if you consider that that much points the ellipse will be more better uh, even if uh, you consider eight points eight different points that is also okay uh, but uh, if you consider only four points that means it is it will be very difficult to draw the ellipse in the perfect shape then uh, it will be like a rhombus in most of the time so the rhombus with the curved edges will be what will be the output of uh, an ellipse with only four points considered and how these points are to be considered that we will see uh, in our uh, powerpoint presentation okay let's move on to the powerpoint presentation so first we draw the xy line in the front view we draw the circle then the circle is divided into multiple points you see here only four points are uh, given uh, i mean actually there uh, there are eight points given one two three four five six seven eight so likewise uh, eight points on one side and uh, another eight points on the top uh, other side so there are two circles on opposite sides of the cylinder so on one face on one face it is uh, one two three four five up to eight on the other face it is a b c d up to a j h so how we, this one is 
divided this horizontal line and this is vertical line and these two lines are inclined at 45 degree to the horizontal and vertical lines so that is how we obtain the eight different points if you want to 12 then uh, this angle should be 30 30 each so there will be two lines in between these two uh, one and three or one and seven and five and eight etc etc sorry five and seven etc in each of the four divisions there will be two more lines will be there if you consider 12 divisions but uh, no need for going for 12 it will take more time uh, because you have to produce all the 12 points on both ends that is a total of 24 points so here only you have to go for only 16 points so uh, the condition is uh, uh, first you draw the horizontal diameter and the vertical diameter then two more diameters with the 45 degree inclined to the initially drawn diameters. So that is that will give you the uh, front view as complete and all those points. Now from all the points, draw vertical lines downward. And then the rectangle is completed. The rectangle is this one. And that is completed. And the names are also given likewise. A, A. H and B, so H is uh, on the top and B is on the bottom, so that is given as H and B, G and C, F and D, E. So this much points are given. And uh, on the opposite side, there is 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, 4, and 5. So this way it is also given. So out of which uh, only the borders or the rectangle will be darker one and here the circle will be darker one all other colored lines colored lines uh, lines colored uh, uh, shown as colored in this picture uh, they should be very thin lines very thin and uh, uh, light lines in your drawing and then what you have to do is you have to draw this particular figure the 45 degree inclination with the 45 degree inclination and uh, this edge touching this uh, xy line how it can be drawn instead of drawing the axis first instead of drawing the axis first uh, when axis is making an angle of 45 degree obviously this edge should also be making an angle of 45 degree so it is always better instead of making uh, starting with the axis you start with this edge the edge starting with the e or e5 so if you start with the e5 then obviously you can make it this point uh, which is coinciding with the xy line on the other hand if you start with this set this i mean axis it will be very difficult for you to arrange it like this so that this point e is coinciding with the xy line so way so you start with the edge e5 then you complete the rectangle and uh, other points are also marked 1 8 2 7 3 6 4 5 is marked here it is 45 degree and here also those points are to be marked and uh, it is omitted here so a h b then g c f d and e and in this drawing actually only four points are considered but uh, with the four points it will be difficult for you to draw uh, your uh, ellipse so it is always better to consider all the uh, eight points in order to draw or in order to complete the drawing so from seven from one and five likewise so in this case only four points are considered in the front view but uh, you have to consider eight points otherwise when you are joining these four points to form an ellipse it will be it won't be an ellipse it will be just a rhombus with the curved edges so it is always better you go for eight points in order to uh, make it simpler simpler so that um, if i draw all the eight like all the eight points in here it will be cluttered so it will be difficult for you to understand how uh, each line where each line goes so that is why it has only uh, four points considered here you have to consider all the eight points on both the sides there also this is the ellipse that is circuit and here this part of the ellipse is the second ellipse this part of the second ellipse is visible and this part is invisible 
that is the second figure now you have to reconstruct this picture here such that the axis is making an angle of 45 degree i mean 35 degree with the xy line so how this will be reconstructed first you draw this or first you consider this right construct this rectangle and then mark all the four points or i mean all the eight points in that one in the rectangle you mark all the eight points on one side and uh, the other eight points on the second side then you will be able to construct the ellipse otherwise it will be difficult for you to reconstruct the ellipse and uh, when you reconstruct the ellipse the shape of the ellipse will also change so it is always better to go for preparing rectangles full rectangles and the corresponding front views i mean front uh, points points of intersections can be considered here also so uh, in this uh, mode that is in powerpoint it is easy to reconstruct the figure just to copy paste and then rotating it is enough but uh, while drawing it is i know it is very it is difficult to reconstruct the picture uh, with the same shape so what i suggest is what i suggest or uh, i always to suggest to my uh, students is you go for uh, rectangles creating these rectangles or even triangles can also be used uh, once this particular rectangle is fixed this point can be obtained by taking a distance this distance from here as well as this distance from here that is using the arc of circle method using two arcs uh, from this this uh, this point to this this point uh, some distance will be there and from this point to this point the distance will be there or the distance of this point from this point as well as this point are equal so using two arcs you can find out the c the point c that is one method otherwise you go for the rectangular method prepare the rectangles and then uh, using your divider give the dimensions use use your divider to measure the distance between this point and this point and then using the same divider you can mark the point on the second uh, figure also and uh, thus you can re uh, you will be able to reconstruct uh, this picture approximately same as the original one then from each of the points draw the projectors each of the eight points uh, actually there will be a total of 16 points each of the 16 points drop the projectors and from the horizontal or from the previous top view also drop all the draw all the uh, corresponding projectors then each of the points are gi given names a1 b1 c1 and d1 likewise one two three and four then the ellipses are drawn. So here only, as I said, here only I am considering only a four points from the second figure onwards. From the, this figure onwards, I am considering only four points. But in your drawing, you have to consider all the eight points on one side. Otherwise, it won't look like an ellipse. It will look like an, a rhombus with a, uh, curved edges. So always go for eight points at least eight points so